Back to our channel. In the video, kulla po mna di ningo nno namma channel subscribe panna na maraka ma subscribe pani konge. To channel. And this video, we are going to solve the today's daily challenge. So today's date is February five. So just now the year get started and <laughs> many days has passed. So that's not. So if you are doing something, do it more consistently and you will get your success by the way. So now let's get started. So the question is binary case sensitive decryption. So what we must do is we must get a string representing an encrypted message as the input. So you people might know what is an encryption. So if you are sending a message to your friend through WhatsApp or some other thing, that message will not directly send to your friend. It will get encrypted. So encrypted in the sense it is like encapsulating. So like that, hi is a word which will get changed into some other language or some other words, and it will send to your friend. And in your friend's device, it will get decrypted. So decrypted in the sense it removes the encrypted format to the original word. So why we are using that? so that no intermediate people can read your messages okay so we must get a string and we must decrypt the string yes and print the message based on certain conditions so the conditions are we must split the string into substring of equal length of 5 okay they are given the equal length of 5 and for each substring we must form a binary representation by replacing uh, the lowercase alphabets with 0 and uppercase alphabets with 1. And then we must uh, find the decimal equivalent of each binary representation and replace them with the character. Okay, from 0 to 25, that is A to Z, that is 26 dot, like that, like we missed this, this symbol they have given. Okay, so you might see this sample input here. See here in the first substring that exists A, B, C, D, E. So the binary representation of this x is like this. So for three, it will be like D and like that A. Then, then for the second substring, it will be O. Then third, it will be G. Then finally, we are printing dog as the output. Okay. So how we are going to do is uh, using the function method. I am going to do this one. So actually, I am going to create a function that is decrypt message okay of the string yes okay and now i have a variable name mapping so mapping is equal to start from i chr character of i plus order of a and here for i in range of 26 okay so for i in range of 26 and now mapping dot update 26 is to and uh, full stop comma 27 is to a full stop here then comma 28 is to and a full stop similar we have to do till 31 i think so so let us do it 30 and 31 okay till 31 i have done with it so you can see in this line it exists correct so now the decrypted text is equal to it will gonna store in the string so now we are going to looping through the concept for so for that for i in range of 0 comma len of s comma the length given is 5 okay and now the substring is equal to yes and here we are going to use string slicing method 
so i plus 5 okay and now the binary representation is equal to string dot join you should join with 1 if c dot is upper okay else 0 for c in substring okay now the decimal value is equal to int binary representation comma 2 okay and now the decrypted text gets incremented to the mapping of decimal value okay and now we are printing our decrypted text okay and now let's get input from the user that is the string so we are using the strip function and finally we are calling our function name okay so now let me run our code and check for the output and you can see you are getting an error here so dict object is not callable okay so let me change it in a list so decimal value so now let us run our code once again yeah you can see that the art so however we had get our output but there is small mistake here so the mistake exists i think here so in this we must i have everything put the dot but i have to use this everything so for 27 it is comma and 28 they have given a space character and for 29 it's question mark and for 30 it's a single code okay so it's a th single code so what I'm going to do is instead of double code I'm using a single code here okay and for 31 it is a double code okay it's a double code so now let me run the code once again yeah you can see that our code has been successfully passed without getting any error and if this video finds useful please do like share subscribe for more videos and i will see you in the next video thank you for watching this